Hi, this is Eric from MyAnnual.net, helping you understand and manage the annual and condition inspection process. Visit us at MyAnnual.net for more information, parts and tool lists, and more informative videos and articles to help you better understand your aircraft. Safety first, always wear eye protection. When using solvents, wear gloves. Before you perform any maintenance on an aircraft, be sure the wheels are chalked. Make sure the ignition and the master switch are in the off position. I like to take the keys out of the ignition and place them on the instrument panel so there's no chance of the ignition being left on. Today I will show you how to find top dead center on an aircraft engine. Once we have double checked that the ignition and the master switch are in the off position, the keys have been removed from the ignition switch and the aircraft is properly chocked, we can start. Disconnect all the ignition leads from the spark plugs. This will ensure that when we turn the propeller and the mags fire, no spark will be delivered to the spark plugs. Remove all the top spark plugs from the engine. This will make turning the engine easier because it will release all the compression from the engine. Make sure you place the plugs in an indexing tray to protect them and so you can place them back in the same spark plug hole. To determine top dead center on the engine, we must get the number one cylinder to top dead center. To do this, place your thumb over the number one cylinder spark plug hole. On Lycoming engines, the number one is the front right cylinder. On Continental engines, the number one cylinder is the right rear cylinder. Never stick your finger into the spark plug hole. The piston can hit your finger when it comes to the top of the stroke. Turn the propeller in the direction of rotation until you feel the compression building in the cylinder. Remove your thumb quickly from the spark plug hole and hear the pressure building as it's released from the cylinder. You now have the piston coming up on the compression stroke. Attach the timing indicator to the propeller or the propeller spinner. You can use rubber bands to hold it on. I like to add a couple pieces of tape just to ensure that it doesn't slip. Insert the piston stop into the number one cylinder spark plug hole and hand tighten. Turn the propeller slowly in the direction of rotation until the piston lightly contacts the piston stop. Rotate the disc of the timing indicator until the top center mark is under the point of the weighted pendulum pointer. Here's a hint. Tapping on the timing disc indicator lightly will release any friction and give you a more accurate reading. Slowly turn the propeller opposite direction of rotation until the piston again lightly touches the piston stop. Turn the timing indicator disc exactly one half of the number of degrees toward the top center mark on the disc. In this case we are reading 90 degrees on the disc so we will turn the disc to the 45 degree mark. Remove the piston stop from the cylinder.
Place your thumb over the spark plug hole in the number one cylinder. Turn the propeller in the direction of rotation until you feel the compression building in the cylinder. Remove your thumb quickly from the spark plug hole to hear the pressure being released from the cylinder. Continue rotation of the propeller until the pointer is under the top center on the disc. You have now found top dead center on the compression stroke for the number one cylinder and you can start timing the magnetos. If for instance the engine data plate or the type certificate data sheet for this engine indicates that the magnetos should be timed to 25 degrees before top dead center, you would turn the propeller in the opposite direction of rotation until the pointer shows 25 degrees. It is always recommended that you go back beyond the 25 degree mark to let's say 40 or 50 degrees and then bring the propeller in the direction of rotation to the 25 degree mark to remove any backlash from the gears in the engine. Please refer to our video, Timing Slick Magnetos on an Aircraft Engine, and other informative videos at MyAnnual.net. This is Eric from MyAnnual.net, helping you understand and manage the annual and condition inspection process. Visit us at MyAnnual.net for more information, parts and tool lists, and additional informative videos and articles to help you better understand your aircraft.